babies. Hello, babies. Hello to the babies. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Hello. Watcha. Watcha. <laughs> Watcha. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hi, everyone. You know, normally they're the babies, and we are also babies, babies among babies, but today I'm like really, truly, especially baby. Yeah. I took a unintentional help, um, help couch nap. nap. That's not fuck. Couch nap before the stream, and I'm in shambles. I'm shivery cold. I'm confused. I'll see you said joke match. Well, that is, I think, my par for the course. Unfortunately, that doesn't speak to anything specific about my current state. Okay, true. Um, everyone says Nam Timmer. Yeah. Uh, Emma says, don't talk to me until I've had my Nam Timmer. Yeah, I think someone said it's nancy timmer accidentally mm. and also people already say nancy because of that one typo i made presumably the one time yeah yeah um, probably if one of us made a, a a typo it was probably you definitely uh -huh. i think we both agree on that i must um bro do you need me to bring you a blanket or a cup of tea or anything Honestly, a tea might be good because I do have the post cow net. Fuck. I ha I'm I'm experiencing the shivery colds, and I do think a tea would help with that. Nat says a couch nap will ruin your whole day, and Emily says I also took a cow snatch today. How did yours go? Did it go better than mine? Are you? I I Here? thought about taking a couch nap today because um, I was, oh my god, Albert is outside my door whining. Buddy, it's okay. That's why he didn't want to go back there, is he didn't want to enter the fucking gamer zone. He does not approve. Yeah, but why? But now he's. I closed the door with him on the outside, and now he wants in. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't want in. He wants you to make better choices. <laughs> he wants. He wants you to. He wants you to do better. Damn. Emily says, "Yeah, it went okay, but we'll see how I feel at bedtime." And everyone is excited that Albert's here. Yeah, he's wonderful. Little Albert. Um, yeah. I always forget how small he is. He's just a little guy. Yeah. When I was looking at those dogs on the internet, there was a dog that weighed the same amount as Albert, even a couple pounds less. But it looked huge. It had the longest legs in the world compared to him. In the world? Well, in the world. Albert, Albert has so many strengths and so many skills, but like... Leg having is is a low stat for him. Yeah, you know? I mean his legs are muscular. You know he's got those yeah. muscular oh, yeah. little haunches. Well, he's sporty. He's he's yeah. so sporty. Yeah, but yeah, he is built that's why, very ah, um, solidly, and it's that's just why weird he doesn't like see. you gaming. It's this oh, is a classic jocks nerd it's situation. Sports versus yeah, yeah. okay. I'm Emily always says, imagine that I am redeeming some channel points, so you'll tell Albert I love him. Albert, Emily loves you. In this structured RP, now you do have to spend some channel points on some random thing. Uh, modify a single emoji. That, that's your that's your channel points price. <laughs> oh, Emma. Says, oh, wait, I also Emma want that. Emma also loves you. Albert, Emma loves you too. <laughs> He's still whining at me. 
Wow. How's everyone doing today? I mean, I know how you're doing, but how's everyone Thanks. else doing? <laughs> yeah. I um slept on my neck wrong and now it's doing the thing where like do you ever have it's like it's like tendons in your neck or like small muscles something are like ropey and tense but also feel like puffy and tender yeah yeah that's, that's happening bad. on the right side of like my neck and throat real bad Ooh. today Ooh. yeah no good we are having big steps days like on Friday I went to the beach and I walked like most uh, I had like a 15,000 step day on Friday and I did the vast majority of that at the beach and you know that's like Damn, different that's yeah different muscles Be but oh it was are, it was yeah it was such a good beach day because the beach this beach which is the beach that we normally go to normally um, doesn't have a lot of like shells or rocks or like little mm -hmm. beach detritus. It's a pretty, yeah, uh, like well maintained sandy beach. But because of all of the flooding, it was just like stuff central. There was so much yeah. stuff. There was like so much driftwood and so many rocks and so many shells. Like I saw all sorts of stuff that I don't normally see. Like I found like sand dollars and conches and scallop shells and oyster shells mm -hmm. on the beach which are not things that I normally find mm -hmm. so nice uh, that was cool Juliet is here and says I am on vacation you're here in our time zone wow um, oh and Emily yeah, also said you you are Leo. intermittently crackly Huh. Um, okay. You had been good for a while and then it came back and I don't, but you're fine right now. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, thank you for tea. Wow. Um, Juliet says, Kavi says hi and Wesley audio could be louder, which we've never heard before. Okay. I um will attempt to be louder. You know, there's only one solution for this. I, yeah. The tube. The tube. No. The people my call the tube. The crave. Destroyed. The tube. Come in. The tube. Albert. Albert stole my tube. And, and chewed upon it. Chewed. Uh, yeah, more than upon it. Here. Hold on just a second. Uh, Juliet will be catching the stream later. Yeah, fair. Probably. Have fun. Be in the moment. Enjoy um, the best time zone. Yep. It wasn't the best time zone until I lived here, and now it's the best time zone. <laughs> wow. I see how it is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm putting this in general, even though it includes a picture of Albert. Um, but this Albert is, is of general interest. This is what happened to the tube. Oh my god, he really got in there. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, he fucking destroyed it. He, he said, "You guys like need to put this." Seconds. He said, "You need to put this bit to bed. I'm, I'm done with it." <laughs> okay, too well. Too bad. Too bad. Rip to the tube era. <laughs> too bad. Um, I, that's another piece of merch. I guess we need to make. <laughs> Uh, um, 
Hey, do you remember what we were doing uh, in the game? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Oh, Emma says tubes are out. From now on, we are cubes only. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, um, cubes. Last week, during the big game, we played some football and Taylor Swift was there. And that's what we did. Oh, right. I thought that's what Emily did. No, no, that's that's what we she, did. And she was playing foot. That's why she couldn't be she, there because she was playing football. She was busy in the big game. Yeah. <laughs> One of my regulars at the coffee shop was mm -hmm. like before. Um, he is a guy who always comes in and like hangs out for the last like thirty minutes that were open. And on Saturday mm -hmm. night, he was like. Hey, I, I have a secret. I'm going to be performing in the halftime show, but like, don't tell anyone. And we were like, right. Yeah, 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 of course. And then um, I s worked Monday with one of my other coworkers. He came in and I was like, oh, my God, like you were so great in the halftime show. And he was like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I worried I was worried people wouldn't um, wouldn't recognize me. And I was like, no, no, no. I think your artistry really shown through the, the context of this being like he is very obviously kidding. Like the, the context right. and the vibe is very much like yeah. a, a joke. And my poor sweet coworker who was working was like, what? I watched the entire thing like I didn't recognize you at all. I feel so bad. <laughs> like, oh, no, that's not what's happening. Wow. Emily says, I did the best I could, but I just couldn't get that dub for the Niners. Damn. Um, Emily said on Twitter that she couldn't wait to tell us that all we need to do to progress is have one conversation. Were, oh. we, were we stuck? I don't even remember now. That's not for me to know. Okay, cool. I didn't think we were... Well, oh no, that's not true. So, because we had done the formula analysis. Oh, right. And got a number. Um, And then we tried to tell Quigley that number and it was like, Oh, yeah. you haven't done this yeah. other part yet, and we weren't sure what that was. I mean, and... yeah, we've looked at the other part, but I feel like, but like we can't do, we can't, we don't seem to be able to do anything for that part right now. Like there's something missing. Yeah. Um, but talking to Quigley didn't help, so presumably we have to talk to somebody else. We got microscope? No, we used the microscope to sort the frass. That's already done. Yeah. Um, we also played as the other Hardy brother. Yes. And we did some fishing and some shell collecting, mm -hmm. and we called Oh. We just need we found to talk the to note. her again. We didn't exhaust the conversation. But she went up. We just, we have to be annoying. Well, that tracks. Damn it. Okay. Oh, that's right. We did. That's right. In the last, like, five minutes, we were like, well, I'm not sure what to do next. But that's that's not a problem for now. Okay. Um. As the other Hardy brother, we found the note from the pawn shop in Big Mike's, which Big Mike oh, was like, I yeah. don't know what that's about. And we called the pawn shop and the pawn shop guy was like, oh, it's from this criminal Johnny Kuto. And then we called Johnny Kuto and left him a very like, I'm trying to be Liam Neeson, a threatening voicemail that was like, well, you walloped my brother, sir. Hats off. Great. Good job, yeah. us. 
Yeah, I think I think that's all the big stuff. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, shall we jump in? Is there anything else that you want to berry cast about? Um. No, I don't think so. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to play a game. Okay. I'm feeling awakened by some tea, which is fending off the shivery colds. Great. Um, I actually give me just a second. Oh, we heard, we overheard Pua fighting with her dad about something. I okay. don't know what the deal is there yet. Emma says, I hope we see some bugs today. Francis says, I hope we see bugs every day. Yeah. Okay. Stream game to you. Temporary health screen game. Hint deputy and plant villain. Um, yeah, let's, we'll go talk to Dr. Kim again. Quigley, could you come down here? Well? I'm all done. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456. <laughs> yes, yes, it really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're going to be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go. Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta Odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. What are Norsa Beta Odorata? It's a kind of moth. And to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual? It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere! It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, wow. you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those Norse beta caterpillars have been eating. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi mm. Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. <laughs> We're on the verge of a huge discovery. I need you, teenager who I only just met, to sneak in. <laughs> To this yep. research facility. <laughs> oh yeah, because the second half is like we need to like put a solution, certain amount of like a solution in there and mix them. Yeah, I think so. We need so to do some a go mixology. Ahead and go to Healy Healy. Yeah, I think we should. I really hope this doesn't involve like some kind of stealth game those kill me state your biz oh it's you i'm supposed to let you in it's got to be the green vats right the the goo uh, maybe I don't even remember how I ended up accessing the 
plants that we fertilized last time. Oh. That was there. Here. They were inside there. Yeah. Oh, and then in there is that room with the right. plant screaming. With the, yeah, exactly. Can't unlock this with that. I guess because we have already done what we were intended to do, to do with that, we can't. Yeah. It's pretty spooky. Okay. Yeah, because I can't go. Yeah, okay. Maybe we need to talk. Yeah, hey. possibly. I'm just, you know, hooking around. Yeah, trying to. Get yeah. I definitely I'm are really going to have to get, get into a locker at some bats. point. But... Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Nope. Dr. Craven? He sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. There are yes, on the chair. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's go look at his research. I've got to shut this off. Wow. Shut what? what? Shut oh, his what phone? Off. His beeper? I guess, but I. Okay, let's see. Oh. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired that was, was weird. Spider Man or um, something. Oh. <gasps> You, young lady, would Damn. appear to be in very deep trouble. Cool. Um, I don't know... A second chance? Go back to... Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh... Okay. I mean, it'll do second chance anyways, so... I was thinking I should save, but, um, chlorhydroxylamine. I've got to shut this oh, off. Oh, settings. Yeah, I, ju I just saw it. Are we just forced to sit here and watch him snore? I think so. Okay, let's I... see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Spiderman or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Fighterman, number 14-667-93. Okay, 14667 All right. Looks nine, like employee number 14-667-93, okay. otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned yep. to locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. Okay, got it. Okay. Um. Can. Is there anything else we can look at while we're here? Like his. This little. I want to look at this blue. Oh my gosh! This is a page that was torn off. Oh of shit! Which means the person who trashed your camp must have been Dr. Craven? Well, uh, who would have thought? You, what were you gonna say? Oh, just oh. this blue covered. Yeah, I look I, at that. We I can't. do too, but we can't. Okay, that's fine. Well, finally we get to open a locker. That's thrilling. Yeah.
Okay. Okay. Right four. That. Maybe click on. Oh. Yeah, you had it oh, there. There we go. And then maybe hit the center button to send it back to left two. Uh, I was thinking that the, it's two, the number two accessed from the left, or do you think it's just two? I don't know. Let's keep going this way. Uh, okay, what's... left seven. Because I think there are multiple ways to interpret this. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right nine. Yeah, not that. So one, it may mean not hitting the center button because you could go left to from four. Let's, yeah, let's, let's try for our next one. Let's try four. the numbers without re-centering. Like it's telling okay. us which direction mm -hmm. to go. So we're going to go right two, four, three, four, and then go two to the left from there. One, two. And then you go seven to the left from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then not right nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Yeah, that seems less nope. good to me because there's okay. two lefts back to back, you know? Yeah, so another possibility is we go right four and then we go left to the number two and then left the number seven the number seven although i guess it doesn't i, I don't think this one works because there's that we yeah that we stopped it right too, yeah right? yeah so i think reset it and it's we hit okay. the thing in between it um okay, okay. right for left two to the number two the number two. Left to the number seven. And right to the number right to the nine. Number nine. Correct. Nothing. Pack um, our notes and let's let's make sure that we got our things correct. Locker number R four, L two, L seven, R nine. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to take his yellow jumpsuit and then, in disguise, steal a plant sample. I'm guessing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Check. Can't check that off yet. Still need to do that. Done. Check. Still need to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Emma says, have you tried hitting the green button in between numbers instead of the red one? And then we mm, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So now do you want to do um 
It's a great question. Let's go left to two from here. Well, I mean, yes, that's given by not hitting the red button. And that's the same either way, two versus two. The question yeah, is... That's true. Now, do we go to the number seven? I think let's try that. Yeah. Nice. Aha. Some little dev devs as kids this pictures. Keep those men in yellow off my back. Assuming. Okay. Okay. Wow. Um, so are, maybe are the wearing? exit. Mm, I think we'll have to. I don't know if we're wearing it. Maybe do a save here and let's see mm, yeah. if it's out that door. A Christ. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh hell yeah. We just never tried that door before. Um. Okay. Do we know? Is there a specific one that we're? Oh, oh plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Does it say? Anything? BQ no, nineteen. Just possible. No. no, that's the drop. Possible source yeah. material, and ooh, pineapples. Oh, spooky. Yeah. Should I? Oh, I just walked right through him. Um. Okay, one of these plants looked like um. Looked like this. No, oh, no, that's Monstera. Um, yeah. But I swear... Oh, no, that's Monstera also, I guess. Okay. HD8833. We, we have a little H sample H3 glass for us to take a sample with? Maybe not. Can we look on our backpack? Yeah. I mean, we have these bags. Hmm. I think those have stuff in them. Yeah. Um. I hate it when it's like I should be able to turn right here, and then suddenly I just can't. Uh, yeah. Let's look at our look at the um, notebook again and see what it says. Look around for something that'll tell me which plants are most important to Craven's research. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And a leaf sample. I mean, I, my gut instinct is that it's pineapples because we know the pineapples have been yeah, having a bad crop. Yeah, I actually look at the pineapple label? See, yeah, H333. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Maybe this will help me figure out what plan I'm looking for. Here we go. Oh, uh... Employee number. It's 14... 667... 93. Accounts. That doesn't sound very helpful. Suppliers. Uh... Shipping. 
Now that's more like it. Uh, Let's see what okay. this place has been sending to whom lately. Extract codes. This sounds promising. Hmm. Looks like a list of substances and the names of the beds containing the plants they came from. Okay. Um, and then shipping. Richard oh. Aikens at Aikens Biotech? F E R C 20. Oh. Check out the one. Okay. C 21 was extracted from an unexpected fortuitous mutation. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back to extract codes. Have it tested immediately because I do believe this is the one. Mutation, huh? Something tells me that's the plant I need to get a sample from. Yes, it says here that FERC-21 yeah. was extracted from the plants in bed HH-3333. And according to that note from Dr. Craven, those plants are apparently mutants. Ah! Uh. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to stay out of sight from here on. Oh no, it is a stealth oh, no. game. I wonder... Uh, the pineapples are behind us. We have to get a sample before we go. They're behind? Oh, yeah, but there's a guy over there. That's true. Okay, we might have to plant. This won't hurt a bit. Yeah. I want to go that long way around. Yeah. Mm. We're still patrolling, but nobody's seen anything. You! Stop! Get Shit. him! That's the guy who breaks security! Ah. All right, you! Hold him right there! Oops. Okay. Wow, okay. Okay. That says stealth sequence. And this Did is I... so not the kind of... Okay, yeah. I already have it. And that should have a stealth sequence. So maybe we need to... Was that... Did that come from the left, or...? So... Uh. So before I went kind of all the way down this wall to my right and then I yeah. was turning left because there are warehouse doors there. on the other well, wall. I'm wondering if it was just that you clicked before that guy waddled all the yeah, way down that, the... Right, that's... That's what I'm guessing. Let's try that again then. Oh, hey, oh. you over there. Stop. Okay. Hold it so right there, pal. You're not going he anywhere. He turns Oops. around. Yeah. So hmm. And that says me when I break into a high security lab and get caught. Oops. This person's back is to us, so do we want to try going up that way, actually? I know because either then we turn right and come out on this passage anyways, or we turn left and then we're, like, in front of them. Yeah. It might just be a timing thing of, like, waiting until that guy is far enough. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Go, 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 go. Hey, you're over there. Nope. Okay, never mind. Right, you. Hold it right there. Oops. Um, okay. Waverly here in the evil pineapple factory. <laughs> yeah, boss, I'm just clocking in now. I'm <laughs> busted. You got me. I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, ex experiment a little bit. Yeah, no, you're throwing, you're throwing stealth spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Yeah. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. Oh yeah. There we go. And then we go and wait for him to turn. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, and go. But I'm left. Like, now I. Oh. No. See, because then he's right there again. But I don't. Hey, you! Stop! No. Grab him! Yeah, no, I think we need to right, loop de loop right around there. and come back Oops. at that door from the other direction. Okay. Still no sign of the intruder. We're still patrolling, but nobody's seen anything. Over. See, but then... No, so I think... Look, he was moving... Will you go back and watch that guy? Look, he... 
it's gonna move, and then we're gonna go all the. Oh, maybe mm. not. Let's go. Can we try going past him, like to the back wall of a greenhouse? We can. We're not. This is not like we've done a lot of effort to get here. Yeah. There we go. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. Nice. Oh. Good job. Okay. Gotta get out of here. Oh, and, uh, Emma points out Waverly, like Mean Girl Academy. Oh, yeah. I didn't even... Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was so nerve-wracking. No, you did great. Mm. Oh. I should actually have the chat open on my phone. Okay. Oh. Um... Okay. There's that weird whispering again. Hmm. Hello, Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. I don't need to do that. Oh, um, Emma Lee says, hey, did that count as us having a fraudulent identity? Yeah, we went undercover oh, yeah. to do corporate espionage. I think that counts. Yeah. Okay. So. We need to put Frass into empty test tube. Add BQ19 to it. Note the color. Put sample of leaf into separate test tube. Add BQ19 to that. Um, see if the color matches. It says that the color doesn't match. Repeat using other possible source materials, but I'm like it i don't think we're gonna need to do that yeah i think that's it okay. i'm doing this in the wrong order but ooh okay oh that's nice that they use nancy's like little canonical handwriting font Uh -oh. oh my god. Or the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the oh, frass yeah. sample. I guess I better go tell Quigley. Damn. Okay, so color me shot. I have to, I guess, collect other leaf samples. Like, just out Oh, of you're gonna nature. have to stealth name. No, I hope not. I think it might just be like plants around where we collected the frass. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Nat says, there's so much frass in this game. And Francis says, more grass than any other game I've played, TBH. And then frass. <laughs> Emma says, motherfucker said grass. Um, Free finger. Yes. Also, hey, Francis, can I have a bocce ball? Quickly, 
Can I talk to you? I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance, and I'm taking notes. What do you want? Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Uh. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples I've collected, and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? Got it. God, I'm just thinking this is not this game, but what a good horror beat it would be if it's like we keep coming here to talk to her and she like jets down and we come back one time and her fucking dead body is still like oh, hung from the geez. like uh -huh. from the harness in the tree. The Jeep, 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 Jeep zone. Jeep mm -hmm. zone. Jeep, 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 Jeep. Jeep, 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 Jeep zone. Jeep, 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 Jeep. Wow. Jeep, 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 Jeep zone. Wow. Aha. Ooh. Okay. Hibiscus. I'm annoyed that it says no. to add two annoyed. drops of BQ19, but we don't have to actually like click twice. Oh, that would be thing. more fun if we had to click twice and it would change. Yeah. Nat says, Leo, they should hire you to do a Jeep commercial. And Francis that says, damn, this new Jeep jingle is off the charts. Breadfruit? Is that what breadfruit looks like? Maybe. Oh, do we have the exact it's color of, just I like mean, breadfruit the, seeds? The seeds, presumably, yeah. but still. I want to eat have breadfruit the exact so bad. Number of test tubes that we need. Wow. Which means Nancy's going to fucking drop one and we're going to have to go ask Dr. Craven. So. Looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever oh, they are. Flag beetle larva. I wonder if they've been eating pineapple plants. What do you think fritillated means here? I don't know. That's a great question. Chat, tell me what your guesses are for what fritillated means. Fritillated. Emma says, boy, that really breads my fruit. I guess it makes me wonder if, like, the edges of parts of it are, like... Frilly? Yeah, sort of. Can we pass the dung beetle and kukui leaf just while we're here? For fun. Yeah. Heck yeah. That doesn't match. Okay. Emily says stripey. Hmm. Yeah. Could be patterning. Not a match. Okay. Um. We're really so doing science. We really putting are shit doing in science in test tubes. That's as sciencey as it gets. Ah, now we, now we I, I <laughs> have to try to figure out what those larvae have been eating. Um, yes. Okay. So we did that. Oh. Emma says butterfly like check. is my guess, but yet. IDK what that oh. means. And Can't Francis says turned into a fritter. Done. Did that. Oh, great. Did that. Did that. Haven't done that yet. Haven't what? done that yet. I did. I did do that. Still need to do that. I maybe not because we haven't told Doctor Kim yet. Yeah, I guess. Um, do you think 
evil plant man knows that we're the one who broke into his facility. Do you think he's disappointed in us? Or does he admire the spirit? I think he might admire the spirit. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 Is anyone going to look up what fritillated means in this context? Hey, did you take us right back to where we were? I sure did. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 jeep. Uh, Emily says I googled it and nothing came up. Uh, and Emma says I've been trying, but I think this one might be a Nancy invention. Fritillated is a great fucking word. It sure conveys. It, it, they Something. just made up a word and not just a bug name. <laughs> Can't believe this shit. The juvenile dete de detectora bug. Quigley? Hmm? Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No, no, that's not possible. It better be possible because my days of analyzing frass are over. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frass traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay, I'll check it out. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Okay, where? Where? Own. Kapu cave. Okay. Ugh. It's so... Ugh. Spooky. A little spooky. A little ooky spooky. Oh. Is it a nose ring? A yeah. nose ring. Of course. Whoa, of course. Those eyes. I can move his teeth now. Okay. <laughs> a sentence I love to hear. Um, okay, well, it seems like we don't have enough info uh, um, for this yet. I have an important question. Yes. Who are you? Ooh. This, this guy. Uh. Crab. Yeah, I was also thinking crab. There's several oh, good options. That's though. a better drawn. That's crab. a better it's, crab. It's this this guy clearer. on the bottom looks angry. Yeah. Yeah, that stone just has more like erosion on it. Emma's 
that little spiky sea urchin. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, she didn't say that in the chat. I'm assigning her urchin uh, kin. Yeah. There Emily says some... I'm the ray. Oh, yeah. There's a starfish. Yeah, because it, it, the each stone does not have all of the same animals on it. Yeah. <laughs> Emma says, fuck you, I'm the octopus. No, you're you're a spiky little urchin. That's your all of your little hairs right now. Nat is a turtle. Francis is an eel with the big guy smile. That yeah, makes total that sense. Yeah. Wow. Francis says, more specifically, I'm a eel. Great. Um, cool. Well, glad we figured that out. Time to go. Going back to camp. I can't believe they are not, like, okay, what are the fritillated flag beetles eating then? Haven't um, done that yet. Maybe this is, uh, we need to body swap. Did that. Yeah, well, I think that learning about the animal symbols is probably something on that computer. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know. Done. Big Island Mike's Google. Yeah. Oh, and we need Haven't to call Frank and yet. Joe anyways yeah. to tell them about Rick, Rick, Rickard Aikens. Rickard Aikens. Rickard Aiken. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. See, and this had already said another job for Can't the Hardy Boys, maybe. Yet. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk to Ned at all? Uh, no. Maybe. Too late. Not right now. Hello? Hi, Frank. Before I forget, I came across this wall that has this really creepy face on it and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. And I'd kind of like to know why it's there. Well, if I come across anything that involves a creepy face with critters on its teeth, I'll give you a call. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> okay. Folklore, maybe, or mythology? Yeah, um, yeah. I, I think we can say. afford to do both. Oh, right, I <laughs> forgot. forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Let's, I'm gonna put two Let's... in. Yeah. From Polynesia. From Polynesia. Oh, no, go ahead. From Polynesia, the ancient Hawaiians also brought with them a polytheistic worldview and tailored it to fit their new situation. They believed the world was created and controlled by 40,000 gods and goddesses, Akua, each one responsible for some aspect of existence, each one accessible through offerings and supplications. Among the most important deities were K Kane, the creator of all the other Akua, the ancestor of chiefs and commoners alike. Ku, or Kuka... Let me, hold on, let me Yuli work Moku? through this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the god of war. Lono, god of peace, prosperity, agriculture, and medicine. And Kanaloa, the god of the ocean and voyaging. Nice. So that's Kanaloa, that's Lono, and that's Ku. Yeah, did that face on the cave? That's what I was look... thinking. None of these have nose rings, but that isn't necessarily a. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I don't maybe know. just uh, take a picture of this though. Okay. Oh wait, go back. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Kaumea was the goddess of the earth, 
Hina, the coral goddess. Laka was the goddess of the hula. And the fiery, hot-tempered Pele was goddess of the volcano. The early Hawaiians practiced a religion called Aikapu, which served as the foundation for all laws until the religion was abandoned in the early 1800s. Abandoned is yeah. sure a word carrying a lot uh -huh. of weight there. I think yeah. probably outlawed by by colonizers yeah, is a better like, yeah. fit. Coerced out various things. Literally outlawed. Um, one of its basic tenets held that men should only do those activities which were on the domain of male gods, and women should only work in areas governed by female gods. This meant that the men did all the cooking. Food to be eaten by men was to be cooked in one oven, while food for women was to be cooked in another. Men and women could neither eat together nor worship together. Only men could be sacrificed, but women were forbidden to eat coconuts, bananas, pig, and red fish. Wow. All Hawaiians considered themselves to be descendants of the gods, but the descendants of the major lineages were considered royalty, or um, Ali'i Nui, while commoners were descendants of the lesser Akua. Commoners had to answer to their kings, chiefs, and elders, and be mindful of the many kap kapus, or things that were forbidden. Kapu cave. Like Kapu cave that those in authority mandated. For instance, stepping on Ali'i's shadow was punishable by death. The Ali'i, in turn, had to seek out and heed the advice of the religious leaders, or kahunas, who in turn carefully endeavored to discern the will and advice of the gods. It was a delicate balance. All parts of Hawaiian society strive to achieve and maintain pono, perfect harmony with the universe. Hmm, okay. Okay. Yes. In addition to this the gods, me. which controlled every activity upon which their culture depended, from fishing to farming to making kapa cloth, Hawaiians believed in supernatural beings that helped explain the vagaries of the world around them. A race of very small industrious people, the Menahune, were thought to be responsible for the construction of roads, dams, heiaus, temples, uh, walls, and fish ponds that could not otherwise be accounted for. The Menehune only worked at night, and once they started a project, they had to complete it before dawn. They could be mischievous, but were rarely cruel. Emma says, wow, what happened in the 1800s? Don't need to look into that one. Uh-huh. Um, also, I mean, I'm sure we all know this, but I am assuming that all of this description of, you know, religion, etc., is significantly Be taken with a grain of salt, yeah. and uh, yeah, filtered through certain lenses. Um, the night marchers or huakaipo were ghostly columns of ancient Hawaiian soldiers who were sometimes seen and heard, chanting, beating drums, and carrying torches as they marched from the mountains to the sea, their feet never touching the ground. For a mortal, standing in their path or looking them in the eyes would result in certain death. Some Hawaiian tall tales explained how natural landmarks came into existence. Before a recent earthquake toppled it, a large mass of lava rock on the southeast coast of the Big Island stood balanced in such a way that it would move, but not, but not tip over when a strong wind blew or someone pushed it. According to legend, Pele, goddess of the volcano, gave her sister Hiyaka the task of going to Kauai and returning with Lohiau, the man Pele wanted to marry. Before she left, Hiyaka made Pele promise that she would not destroy anything that Hiyaka loved while she was gone, including her dear friend Topoe, who had taught her how to dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Pele promised, uh -oh. and Hiyaka left. But just as Hiyaka had feared, Pele grew impatient and angry in Hiyaka's absence and broke her promise. 
She sent a flow of lava to the beach where Hapoe stood and turned her to stone so she could sway forever to the eternal music of the crashing surf. Damn, imagine... Okay, imagine asking your sister Aaron. Or imagine Aaron. Imagine Aaron asking you to go fetch Jesse. Uh-huh. And bring him back. Uh-huh. And then you're like, okay. From the $5 DVD band at Walmart, a thing yeah. I've been asked to do many times. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh-huh. dear sister, just, just in case, <laughs> just, like, don't murder my best friend. Just be chill. Just while wait. While I'm gone. Well, but, like, yeah, I realize d- dear I'm already friends. doing you a favor, but uh, somehow I also feel the need to ask you to not destroy all my beloved possessions or people in my absence. Yeah, that's a normal a normal, I'm gonna be out of the room for a couple of minutes promise, I think. Uh-huh. Yao Needle, a spectacular 2,000 foot rock spire on the island of Maui, was said to have been formed by a kapua, a person with magical powers, named Maui. The son of Hina, he disapproved of the man with whom his daughter had fallen in love, so he turned him into the spire so that his daughter could always look at him, but could never marry him. I would just marry a rock at that point. Um, <laughs> let's. Legend has it that Maui was also responsible for the formation of the Hawaiian Islands. While fishing one day with his brothers, he snagged the floor of the ocean with a magical hook. Instructing his brothers not to look, he managed to pull a huge landmass to the surface. When his brothers, unable to resist, turned to see what Maui was doing, the land shattered, breaking into the separate islands that today are known as Hawaii. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The story oh. of a kapua, kapua called Kaneokala is not as widely known, except that I recognize that name from Moana. Um, well, and in... from this game. The rough, this is, oh, Kaneokala yes. is the rough skinned man. That's true. It's also, that's who. No. Am I... Is Kaneokala mentioned in Moana, or am I just thinking about other things we have encountered in this game so far, like Maui, etc.? Um, I don't remember Moana well enough to say one way or the other. For some reason, it suddenly sounded familiar, but it had not previously, so I might just be making that up. Um, Yeah. Uh... Okay. Back in ancient days, at a time when Pele's rumblings were particularly ominous, the people in a village close to her home in Kalauea decided to try to placate her with a sacrifice. But instead of offering her food, which would have been a true sacrifice since they had not managed their crops well that year, they seized an ill-tempered man whom no one particularly liked and tossed him into the crater. That does seem like, here's the thing, that seems like an, that seems like an all W situation. Like, that's a win for everyone. I mean, not for Pele. She doesn't want a shitty man. (laughs) Pele realized that the man was not a sincere sacrifice as soon as her flames began to devour him. Furious, she ejected the burning man, flinging him into the forest. As the rain there doused the flames that had half consumed him, she gave him an appetite for revenge that rivaled her own. Ikeys. Yeah. As soon as he could stand, the man went rampaging across the island, unleashing insects, vermin, and disease, laying waste to crops, destroying the very thing the selfish and deceitful villagers had withheld from Pele, causing widespread hunger and starvation. Those who saw him said he was terrifying in sound and appearance, his voice destroyed by Pele's fire, his face disfigured by the flames, his skin mottled and pocked. They called him Kaneokala, or Rough-Skinned Man. 
When at last Pele felt avenged, she locked him away in one of her many caves, so no one, including herself, would have to look at him again. But whenever her anger is aroused, or she feels that her beloved islands are in danger, or she has otherwise been disrespected, she releases Kane Okala and allows him to once again do her vengeful bidding. Those are spooky. Yeah. I think what I've learned from this is that we should continue fucking around in the cave. Yeah, definitely. Um... Okay. One of the things... Emily says, I don't think Kane Okala is in Moana. I thought maybe the antagonist was, but it's Teika. Yeah. Um, who then is Tefiti. Like, she turns back. Um, I was thinking... Yeah, for a second. I don't know. For a second, I was like, Kane Okala is who, like, stole the heart of Tefiti at the beginning. But that was Maui. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways. Um, okay. I think. Yes. That we should maybe make some more money. Yeah, because you want to go snorkeling. I want to go snorkeling. Yeah. I think, yeah. right, I'm, I want to do this shelling in Hawaii because I want to see if it is actually true that we'll get because you're on that grind set you're you're taking an investment class from a guy on Instagram because it's gonna tell you you know knowledge is power Uh your knowledge is your net worth shells can best be found by walking along the beach at the water's edge scanning tide pools or by carefully snorkeling around coral reefs No matter where you go shelling, however, never, ever take a live shell. I don't think the shell is the thing that's living, but okay. For one thing, removing a living creature from its natural habitat is not only a sure way to destroy it, but you will be destroying any chance it had of reproducing as well. By removing one live shell from the beach, you could actually be removing thousands. Also, many live shells are poisonous. Cone shells kill their... Pre- okay, this is driving me a little insane. Like, the creature is not... That is not a cone shell. I mean, it is. But, like, that's not what's killing its prey. You know? Yeah. Um, The larger the organism upon which the shell normally preys, the more toxic its sting. To be safe, always pick a shell up by its widest part and be ready to put it down quickly should you discover it's not as empty as you thought. Oh. Crenulated auger? Corded auger? Prickly horn? Island horn? Econ. Wow, I love a flea cone. Imperial cone. Bubble cone. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. It was one of, like, my real treasures, you know? Yeah. Sunrise shell. A type of scallop. Cowrie. Variegated sundial. Ooh, I like that. Hawaiian olive. Nicobar's Triton. Nicobar's Triton is such a fucking name. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's go. We gotta make some passive income from Big Island yeah. Bucks, as Nat says, because I want to go snorkeling. Yes. Okay. Um, let's buy some bait while we're up here. Yeah. <laughs> Emma says, Nicobar's Triton is my New Earth hegemony OC. I'm gonna... Oh my god. Okay. 
Yeah. Fuck it. I think we should we get bought. the good bait. We, we're popping the biggest bottles of red herring something something bait tonight. Yeah. Um. Oops. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to the um, things table. The which? This? Or that? To the... No, the other things. That one. That's a spinner in the middle? Fish attractor. Oh, right. The fish attractor. It's 19, though. Yeah, so it would use all of our... We're going to have to buy a couple more of these other things, too. That's fine. I, I guess we're... Let's... We can't even afford the fish attractor right now. Let's see what we can yeah. do. What we have. Oh. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly, I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys need to stop out Batmaning each other. about the thing you got going with Mapu. Hey, I've got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. Hmm. What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Shoot. Shoot! Okay. I know all about it. Shoot! <laughs> Oh, nice. Powery. Whoops. Another powery. Nice Hawaiian olive. <gasps> Body, uh, no, flea, flea, flea cone? Flea cone, yep. Yeah. You know, like you put on a, a dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh, look wow. at that. Oh, yeah, it says red, red herring. Super big. It's cute. It's so fish-shaped. Yeah. Okay, you gotta be dialed in, dude, because this baby's okay. expensive. Okay, okay. Whoa. Oh, Lua. Big boy. Another one. Very charmingly fish shaped. I'm charmed. Mm
riches and fitches. Mm -hmm. Fish is a riches. Oops. <laughs> that says still hate the worm noise. I find it not upsetting as long as when it's, uh, it's the not fish a live shaped. worm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not like a noise I love, but like, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, see, Drew fishing minigame bait noise 10 hour <laughs> loop video on YouTube. Oh, God. <laughs> Which of these fish do you think looks the tastiest? The bait is an acceptable answer, too, as that is also a fish. The bait. Because I'm thinking about Swedish fish. Mm, yeah. It does look chewy. Mm -hmm. Springy. Mm -hmm. I got one. But I think, like, this fish... That guy looks good. The Alua, yeah, makes me think of meteor, like... Like, um you know, seared tuna, things, things like that. Like, I realize that fish is way smaller than tuna are, but... Maybe not. Maybe, maybe this hardy maybe boy is wrestling in a 1,200-pound <laughs> Got five of them. Emma says Leo is going to eat his seafood after the stream tonight. Yeah, guilty as charged. Wow, what kind of seafood? seafood. Uh, I don't know. We're going to oh. uh, uh, a seafood place. Ah, uh, yeah, with visiting mm -hmm. visitors. Yeah, visiting visitors. <laughs> a new guy a different guy okay hold on for this last one hold on hold on i need uh -huh. everyone to really be present for this last fish squish okay do you have a preference for where i cast close right far right close left far left far left please Thank you. I, I feel like agree. I'm fishing actually there strategy, fishing. I don't know. Wow. Um, wow. Can you please so just recognize how good of a job I did fishing? Yeah, 100% success rate. Yeah, I was so on it. And six Alua. Yeah. And one of, I don't think we've had that spiny guy at all before. I think he's totally new. I feel like maybe we did the first time we fished. Mm. Okay. Um, but yeah, I possible. honestly don't remember. Hey, what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Oh my god, do we have enough okay, money to do snorkeling? Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 big island bucks, you can. There you go. 
And there oh. you go. Yeah. This dry bag is oh my great. god. I can keep my clothes with me while I'm snorkeling. In in case you end up somewhere. Yeah. That you didn't start. Need anything else? Oh. See you in a bit. Have fun. Sorry, I will advance the plot, but I do we do have to go snorkeling first. And we still have yeah. 20 bucks left. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tw yeah. 19 whole smackaroos. <laughs> um, we're gonna just do a beach sweep again real quick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before we get in. You you're really on your grind set, this game. This shells is is getting you. The shells. <laughs> Give them to me. Okay, where What if picking where? up a live starfish was a fail state because you were instructed not to take live oh, animals. That would be great. Where do you Where Nancy think gets own shells. I should get in the water. Do I jump off the dock? Ooh. Or do I enter? I'm stuck on the beach somewhere. Um, I, I don't know. Like you might have to do a little spot. Oh, that looks Oh, whoa, have we ever looked at this? Ooh. Can't believe this shit. I think right here. <gasps> oh, oh my god, god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I love sparkling so much. I want to be sparkling. Oh, god. <gasps> oh, watch here. We got an air meter. Oh, okay. Okay. It's just while you're like zoomed yeah. in. Right, yes. Wow, this is fucking thrilling. This is honestly like a pretty accurate snorkeling depiction, I think. You see that we had a red magnifying glass quake. Oh, did we? There was a red mag. Yeah, it was on our left, so it'll be on our right on this screen. Or you might have to turn around and come back. Yeah. Okay. I will. <gasps> That's that time it said Frank clears his snorkel. That really clears my snorkel. Okay. I th we looked at that spot already, right? right? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. And th there was one on the left as well. Where? Where? It was like up by the urchin, or maybe it was one screen forward from here. Yeah, there. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Okay, do we go right or left? Let's go left first. Oh. oh what my is God. that? And this what is, is this? Thrilling. Oh, shit. Whoa. That eel means business. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. So we can't, we can't in, go in there. At least not it. right now. Save it. Save it. We got to kill now another hardy boy. Now is not a good boy. time to open that. <laughs> Good time to open? Are you kidding me? The backpack. Oh, and Francis the, says, fuck yeah, that's me. Yeah, and everyone says, that's Francis. Yeah, killing a hearty boy. Oh. Hope you're hearty, hungry for a hearty boy. That eel means business. No, let it kill him. Whoa, that eel means business. Oh, man, cowardice. Damn it. Whoa. Do you think we're gonna have to bribe the eel um, or scare it away to see what's back there? Something. That's where we came from, right? And this is yeah, right. Uh, that other path. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, turtles! Do you see the turtle shell? Y you just said turtles. <laughs> yeah. Well, tort tortoise. I do. 
What? Oh. We're just saying hi. Great. Oh, wow. I'm gonna back out further. Okay. That was great. Damn it. <laughs> Emily says, motherfucker said Turtis. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah, back to the eel cave. Did I go all the way? Here? No. Oh. Uh no, I I can't. The the turtle is as, is as far as yeah. we go. Okay. So that's, that's everything unless you think there's it. things that we can only access. No, I, I think that's think... it. I mean, sometimes spots repopulate pretty quick, so I will, you know, check them again. Huh. Wow. wow. This spot on the beach definitely wasn't marked like that earlier. I guess we... Uh... Unlocked I mean, it by it? or caused it to happen by it being snorkeled, renting the, sh right. the snorkel. Maybe we had definitely looked at that view. We had looked at this before. Yeah, but there wasn't the big dark spot on the sand. I mean, okay. I mean, I don't remember it, but I just don't. I trust, trust me. my memories in some ways, but not in other ways. Yeah, fair. You know. I know how tricky memory can wow, be. Wow, we got so many flea cones. Yeah, I love a flea cone. Can we look at our little box of shells? Nope. Oh. Wow. Nine flea cones. That's a lot. Ooh, only six brown cowries, though, which means we can't even make another aloha necklace. That's okay, we can make up your but, stuff. Yeah, we might be able to make something else, especially if we buy another little bag of... Seed run. ...something. I think, too, that we should buy a fish attractor. Because I think yeah, we'll get bigger fishes. Uh, or maybe it suspect is that it just speeds it just makes things it faster. up. Yes. Which I don't know yeah, if that's that worth like 19 worth big 20. island bucks. But that's the exact amount that we have. Yeah, but is... we could buy beads with we that. We gotta buy beads. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, I don't think we have... Wait, no. Go back. Francis says, Nick FTP flea cone. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um... Yeah, we don't have a Nicobar's, whatchamacallit, Triton. Right. Because we have two of these now. Yeah, but we don't have... Two scallops. Oh, but we can buy them. We can buy those. Those are... And we nice, have yeah. those, and we have those. So, yeah. so if we'll we have can to keep get an eye out for a Triton, that would be a good option. Um, we also don't have the Dancing Lizard Central one nor do we have the dance Pele central one we can't make aloha because we need one more it's round fine. I'm sick of aloha if we go back right now I'm sure we could find one can we make a bird of paradise please for the love of god uh, yeah we just need to buy seeds we need to buy the ones in the top left yeah yeah Those yeah guys. yeah stripey guys okay we don't have a shark tooth Okay. We also, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's buy some sea beans. It's not this one. Not that one. Bird of Paradise. Okay. Ta da. Just send me your mouse in the mail because I want to do that. Okay. Do you think the Bluetooth effect works? 
over that yeah. distance. It should be fine. It should be <laughs> fine. I mean, I can't see your screen, so you'll have to tell me a little to the left. But I think that'll be fine. What What do you mean you can't see my screen? Oh, I guess you can screen share it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That ought to do it. Great. Wow. Nat says about the sea beans. You gotta see these beans. Hey, what's going on? Got another necklace for you. Let's have a look. Nice job. Here are your Big Island bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. Um, should, should we... we do the story advancing one? I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled chamber? with lava tubes, tunnels made chamber. by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. Is that what the My dad knows is? them all. Lately, he's been spending a oh. lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he oh, refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber oh, thing? There yes, is there is, way. from the water. It yeah. says so on this yeah, old yeah, chart yeah. my dad has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what are you waiting for? The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. Oh. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. Deal. Deal. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk I to you first. I am the police. Okay. okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. Okay. I think your dad's doing some illegal shit, but I don't have any proof, so you don't need to worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Yeah. That's why me. Are we gonna have to make... Maybe Probably. we should go talk to him first and ask I him mean, what his... I mean, yeah, but I just wanted to see what was there before yeah. talking to him. <laughs> Emma says, hey, oh my gosh, the chamber. And Emily says, the chamber, of course. Oh well, yeah, of course. I am curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. This is I'm a bad game. Spending Big Island bucks on everyone. Oh you sure God. you couldn't just tell you me? Sure, you couldn't just tell me? Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Okay, but there's like nine f individual flavors and there's combos. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess well, we were making all the money for something. Okay. Okay, so we have watermelon, watermelon I think, lemon, lemon, yeah. lime, lime, banana, banana, banana pineapple, coconut, pineapple, grape, grape, mango, mango, cherry. cherry. Uh, let's. It's one dollar per, so I think we should try a combo because we're getting more flavors per Big Island buck. Yeah, but will he be like, I don't know. Does that just make it more complicated? I don't know. He said it's my to... favorite flavor or my favorite combo of flavors. This is the right. stupidest pissy but... work. Oh, God damn it. Um, pineapple? Pineapple, coconut? 
pineapple coconut. Oh. Oh. So we can do three. Let's do pineapple coconut mango. No, oh, jeez. That there. sounds good. Now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. I think he'll do the thing where he's like, I like one of these flavors, but not the other I mean, two. I sure hope want so. Want something else? Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. <sighs> you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. Oh. Yeah. Okay. My suggestion is that we do just pineapple coconut. Cause like pina colada, it's a it's a combo that makes sense. Sure. And it will give us some clarifying information. Okay. Although I guess it does naturally do like a three split. Huh. It sure does. Pineapple, coconut, and banana? Sure. I mean, the problem is, we then we don't know if he's. I guess if it's no, but... you got two of the flavors right, we know. But if it's, yeah. yeah. I mean, I realize this is it's sort of like Wordle with flavors. Feeny, let's see if this is Big yeah. Island Mike's favorite flavor. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have. Also, connections, <sighs> like in terms of. I only the like sort one of, of those flavors. Oh okay. man. So it's either pineapple or coconut. And. Uh, mango. Mango. So we know it's mango. Yeah. And not banana. Yeah. So. Let's try. So we let's want do mango and pineapple. Let's do pineapple. Okay. I'm really mango. rooting for pineapple. Pineapple and lime. Yeah, love it. Mango, pineapple, lime. There. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. And then want something else? Just ho hold Got on. Another shave ice yeah, for you. yeah, Let's that's have. what I realized. Yeah. <laughs> you got two of the flavors, okay. right? Try Great. again. Because this. So I think it's pi It's pineapple and mango, not lime. So, well, let's just right, make. But technically, it could be mango and lime and not pineapple. And it could be coconut. It could be. It could be mango lime coconut. That's yeah, I, and there's just not a way to tell other than testing that. We get let's make a mango lime coconut, and then if he's doesn't, if he still then, says two of those flavors, then we know it's mango lime. Yeah. Right. Okay. Or. No, then, I mean, if he says it's three. Um, this is so smart. Emily says, I tried to see if the UHS had hints and it was like, save scum. So you don't use all your fucking money. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's save where we are. Yeah. Ice, ice, boom, nice. Okay. Mango. Coconut. There we go. Let's see Lime. if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. No. Yeah. Hmm. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have. Did it. 
That was my oh my favorite God. flavor yeah. combination. Lime, coconut, and mango. I call it honey awa. That's Hawaiian for sour kiss. Got it. Wow. Okay. Good talking to you. Catch you later. Mango, I like the lime, idea of Big Island Mike. Coconut. Chomping. And just like absolutely going to town on like seven shave ices in a row to teach us a lesson. Yeah. Um. Okay, will you write down mango lime coconut? Yeah, I have that, and it's the name Honi Awa Sour Kiss is actually yeah. what we okay. need. Because, okay, what did she say? Like, because we're trying to, right, we're trying to access the map, maps, the chart. Right. Um which she said was yeah in a in a chest oh this chest this chest yeah Holy awa. okay it's h o n i right and then how do i spell i think it was a, a apostrophe W A. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wait. A. What? A apostrophe W A. Is there not a W there? There is. Just got confused. Um, oh, no. Okay, so maybe it's uh, a la, w uh, apostrophe a or a apostrophe u a. Pony no. awa. It's apostrophe a w a. Yes. Okay. There's Whoa, nothing else dude. in here. Wait a minute. A creepy face oh, with oh, oh, that's our guy. Oh. This could be the same face okay. Nancy saw. Hello? Hey, it's... Nance, it's me. Listen, remember that creepy face you said you saw? The one with all the animals on its teeth? The yeah. phone's in the way. Well, I just came across a drawing of a creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with animals on them. Tell me about it the animals. Doesn't have animals well, on them, technically. Eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll go back and take another look at it. It has something to do with this old map I found, so I have the feeling it's important. Then I'll definitely take another look at it. Thanks, Nance. See ya. Oh my god. Did it... So, the... F it okay. It gave us okay. the animals in order. So, eel, turtle, shark, manta ray. Porcupine fish. Can you read fish. it to me, section right? Yes. Okay. Porcupine okay. fish, octopus, crab, okay. and urchin. Okay. Got it. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 zone. Jeep, 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 jeep. Okay. Eel. Uh oh. I mean, no eel there. Yeah, unclear what direction where it's supposed to start like yeah oops
Maybe it's just, hold on, maybe this is a logic puzzle where it's like we have to have one of each facing out because there's not one on every. Oh, so maybe. the order isn't important. Well, it's about like okay. figuring out. Give, give me the next one after eel, though. Turtle. Ugh, it doesn't go both directions. Okay. Shark. Nope. No shark. Also, it okay, is six o'clock. Like, what is a porcupine fish? That's a great question. Is it this? Let's... Is there a crab listed? Yeah, there's a crab. In in the ones that were on the map. Yes. Okay. I guess it's that big fish. No, that's, well, that's not necessarily true because there's whales and gulls and stuff that aren't on the list. Yeah, that's what I... Oh, it could also that be guy. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. I just, this one well, seemed to not have a lot of the other ones listed, so I was trying to figure out, like, if there was only one thing yeah. that it did have. Um, but yeah. We might have to solve the teeth. We might need to... Was there like a wildlife of Hawaii, Big Island Bucks, Google thing? Or are we on Maybe, our own to figure no, out what a porcupine fish is? there was something about fabric bark cloth. There was something about poi. There was something about hula. Hmm. Okay. What does, what does a porcupine fish bring to mind to you? I mean, spikes. Spikes. Yeah, like a like a puffer fish. Yeah. But I don't see. Yeah. But None of these look like, particularly it's... right. It's hard to say what um, a yeah. puffer fish looks like when it's not puffed. I mean, it still has the little nubblies. Right. They're kind of yeah. flat. This looks like like a seal or something, right? Yeah, that's definitely a seal. Shark. And this is a shark? Yeah. So it's gotta so be... Then it's Maybe either... that, that, that guy does have kind of nubbles. Yeah, it has little maybe spike things. And he's got that kind of flat flat head that I think of. Yeah. So maybe it's that and guy. I... I think I think is that's that the only the one only one which mm, is useful okay. so maybe just write down porcupine fish bottom left okay and we'll come back to it next time sounds good okay um I am Excuse me, uh, Wesley, you can find me on co-host and Twitter at Horse Archivist. You can find us on co-host and Twitter at Root Detectives. And joining me... I my... don't think we tweeted or coasted, chosted today, but you can find us. I oh, did you? I just missed it. I always okay, tweet, sorry, even bad, when it's bad. really late. Okay. Um, uh, and joining me today... My accuser is J'accuse. <laughs> um, Leo, you can find me on Twitter and co-host at Chill Out and Behold. Well, we will be back next week, ostensibly. Yeah, with part five. Part five: More adventures in Hawaii. Is this only part four today? This is part four. I mean, it both feels accurate and not. Yeah. 
those uh, so many things two hour streams really get us deeper into yeah. games yeah by it's episode true. four than we're accustomed to sometimes yeah okay <laughs> emily yeah. says we're the rude detectives and today we're ebcb yeah true yeah. Mm. okay i hope you all have a wonderful evening if you have any more messages for albert let me know he is with us until tuesday morning wow yeah so that's that's why my neck is sore by the way like i love having him in bed and he sleeps peacefully but it's just that like my normal sleep position is just a little bit thrown off because i'm trying not to like elbow him or whatever and do then, not elbow him and then it, it yeah it throws me off yeah Oh well. <laughs> Emily says good night, everyone, but especially Albert. And Nat says, "Fuck up all the tubes you want, little man." Well, I mean, I'm not. I. Oh my god, Emma, I'm not elbowing him. That's why my neck is sore. If I had, I would feel better. <laughs> Physically. Maybe the guilt manifesting from elbowing him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Sleep jungle well. Jungle whispers. Oh, jungle, jungle, jungle whispers. whispers. We have to go back to the island. Back the Dharma initiative. Mm -hmm.